Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today I'm returning to Afghanistan 11. This is a sneak peek at the game uh, made by Every Single Soldier, which is a de facto sequel to the game from 2015 called Vietnam 65. Uh, in Afghanistan 11, you play the role of the United States and Afghan National Forces as you attempt to pacify and win the hearts and minds of the Afghani people through a series of missions and skirmish operations uh, which give you a great degree of flexibility in how you wish to play. This video that you see here is from a live stream that I took on, what was it, Friday? Friday night, uh, February 19th, I think it was, or 18th, I lost track of the days. Uh, and I was playing through one of the scenarios that's provided in the preview version. So this is a preview version of the game. The game comes out on March 23rd. It will be on Steam. It's published by Matrix and Slytherin Games. Um, and it is currently... Not out, although, like I said, there's a press version that's been given to some people. I was fortunate enough to get a copy, uh, and I'm playing through one of the two full-blown scenarios. They have some tutorials, but then they've got two full-blown scenarios that are available at the moment. The game is still very much being polished, uh, so it's not in its final version. You can see here the game also includes random events that are uh, notified to you uh, by newspapers when events occur in the game. Uh, but again, this is from a live stream that I took a couple days ago, and I'm just going to go ahead and jump right back into the live stream. Things don't go well by the end of it, uh, but uh, you know we'll uh, we'll let you watch it as it goes on. Uh, as you can see here, we're trying to get two trucks of supplies to our fob, uh, prevent the fob's destruction, and achieve a hearts and minds score of 50 or above, which basically means the local population's support of you. So with all of that being said, I'm going to jump back in. The only caveat I will add here is uh, at one point in this uh, Let's Play, I kind of drive around with my Buffalo, which is the vehicle you see there on the screen, uh, with the understanding that it is an engineering vehicle that detects improvised explosive devices that the Taliban and militias often leave on the roads. I was completely mistaken and keep on repeating myself in that sense uh, far more than I should have. The Buffalo is an engineering vehicle that lets you expand the size of your Ford operating base or build new Ford operating bases. As you can see here, I'm doing that right now, uh, but it is not an IED destruction device. The Husky is the name of the unit that allows you to uh, disable IEDs on roads uh, in addition to your soldiers being able to do it as well. So you can see here I'm about to drive my supply trucks into the FOB um, to meet that first objective, but this is a 60 turn battle, so we're only getting started in terms of our, our playthrough with this. Anyway guys, I'll stop my chatting, I'll jump back into the live stream chat and let you guys all enjoy that. Let me know your thoughts below and I'll meet you back up at the end. Lead it here on turn four. Meanwhile, we've got a UN truck that I don't know what to do with. I'm going to go ahead and send aid to this village. Um, but I can't get there. So it's going to be two turns. I'm going to go off-road. And then I'm going to go ahead and move this MRAP over here to make sure that we've got some troops nearby. Um, training the howitzer won't be done for one more turn, so we're going to let them it as is we'll go back out to the intel let's take a look at the intel map so if we go to civil affairs you can see here 0.5 increase in our hearts and minds due to conflict because we're winning 0.2 due to mines uh, 0.2 due to village visits a total net change of 0.8 in the hearts and minds score up to 50 uh, and that's where we're at right now if we go to personnel we can see here we are training one afghanistan national army unit if we go to logistics we can see here we've gained 500 uh, political points from conflict Lost 230 to logistics, basically supporting uh, your operations. Net change of 270. Um, no infrastructure has been completed on the villages, so no changes there. Intelligence, the enemy, we estimate they have five uh, cadres of bad guys and one opium crop somewhere in here. We don't know where. Um, total engagements, two. Uh, we only have a 50% success rate in those engagements. U.S. casualties, two. That's because we had a, a damaged unit counts as a casualty. So we had the damaged special forces and the damaged M uh, Buffalo and two militia casualties. So equal casualties. Political liaison, same president. Sometimes in certain scenarios you actually have elections. Uh, not in this one, I don't think. And then back to our mission briefing. So back onto the map. I think we're almost done, actually. So let's go ahead and fly this guy back to the base to get more fuel. We'll leave our soldiers in this Afghan village. Uh, and, and we'll come back to him with another chopper. Later, we can see our Apache here has no fuel remaining. So apparently, 
you don't get fuel by going to your forward operating bases. That was my mistake. So those are helicopters are sitting on the ground. They're not in danger per se, uh, but we need to get some fuel to them somehow. So we're going to go ahead and have a supply truck with fuel in it. You can see now here it's uh, a fuel truck. And do we want to take the risk of taking a fuel truck out along these open roads with no escort? I'm going to take the risk. Let's just pray to God there's no IED there because a fuel truck hitting an IED would not be a pretty sight. Okay, so so far so good. I think what we're also going to do is we'll pick up an infantry unit and we'll provide some top cover. With this Blackhawk or this fuel truck. We'll go ahead and deliver these guys here. And drop the infantry. So again, we've kind of got some some guys on foot providing some escort for this truck. And that's where we're at right now. So back to the Intel map. It's easier to click around this way. Um, and there you go. So that's going to be the end of this turn. Some units don't have orders. We're aware of that. But again, this has not been a very eventful battle so far. My last one, this, this one fought very uh, interestingly. But apparently not here today. So we're going to go ahead and send the UN convoy into this village. See if that helps our hearts and minds score. We delivered the aid. And now the truck can head back. Um, if we go to Intel, we'll take a look here at Civil Affairs. No change to hearts and minds this turn. Huh. Despite the fact that we gave you aid. Okay. Um, also, you get a little summary. So you got a minus... Hearts and Minds on turn 2, plus on turn 3, and 0 on, on turn 4 so far. Alright, so we got to wait till that fuel gets there. I um, don't really want to send anybody out, but I did get myself in a little bit of a bind doing that. All right, let's sweep for IEDs. Nothing up to that point. Do we take the risk? Ugh. I don't know if IEDs just randomly reappear or if you've actually, if the enemy's got to go to one of those hexes and actually place them. I'm not sure how that works in the game. Um... So a fuel truck, braving it. We'll actually get our buffalo back out there because it is still over here, if I can find it. Um, we'll go ahead and send our buffalo into the repair yard. Okay. Oh, come on. Where are you? It won't let me move it within the base? Huh. So... Alright, well, I'll give it the repair order and see what happens. So waiting to see more enemy troops. Nothing is happening right now. This is very interesting. All right, so the truck is out of fuel. Go back to the Ford operating base. We'll get this supply truck back to the Ford operating base. Oh, no! He hit an IED. At least it wasn't the fuel truck. Um, poor, poor trucker. All you did was bring UN supplies to a village, and you ended up getting blown up. That sucks to be you. All right, we're going to go ahead and drop these infantry on this road up here to sweep. Sweep the... Now that we used him as a, as a, as a bullet sponge, let's go ahead and sweep the... So no IEDs there. We're just going to have to take the risk. There's like three hexes that'll move across. Okay. So the fuel got to the base. Um, I think that refuels everything now. So, let's see here. Got fuel. 
Oh, I don't think he can drop the... I don't think he can drop it this turn. So, um, again, our main objective is gone. Now we just have to make sure the base doesn't get destroyed and keep our hearts of iron score, or hearts of iron, keep our hearts and minds score. So hearts and minds just dropped below 50. Don't know what happened. Caused that. Intimidation. So apparently they are intimidating some of these villages around here. Um, I'm assuming not the one that we've got troops in. Um... Goddamn. Guy killing himself. Copy solid. We're Oscar Mike. Okay, anyway, back to our headquarters. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we've got a Afghan National Army howitzer now. So we'll actually pull our chopper back. Oh my god. Can't take the slow scroll speeds. We'll go ahead and take our chopper here and see our Apache now has supplies. Um, our Blackhawk should probably fly into the base to refuel. And then our other Blackhawk, I think we've got another one here. That one. Got another one here. We'll go ahead and load him. him well. Yeah, let's load him with some infantry. We're gonna send. We're gonna send this to a, a village we haven't visited yet. We'll go up to this village. This is really remote and difficult to get to. We'll go ahead and drop our troops in this village through this difficult mountain terrain, and we detected an enemy opium crop was detected. Um. And we paid a visit to the village. So I need to get this Blackhawk back to the main base as well. We're going to go ahead and pick these guys back up. And then we're going to go ahead and fly them to this other village. They won't get here this turn. Okay. So they won't get there this turn. We'll fly as far as we can. And we'll give that other village a visit. Once we arrive... I'm going to start looking into moving my howitzer. I don't think I have another supply truck there. No, so I can't just move uh, move that way. Um, my buffalo still is not repaired. Hmm. And I'm going to drop supplies here. Oh, I don't know why I dropped them. I should have delivered them, right? Resupply the fob. And then we're going to drive him back. But I'm going to need the buffalo to kind of guard the way. I don't like that he's still damaged. Makes me a little bit uneasy. These guys are low on rations as well. Go pick these guys up, fly them back to the fob to get some the rations and kits replenished. He hasn't refueled yet. That's going to be the end of that turn. Well, if there's intel saying there's... Oh, this is the opium crop out in the middle of nowhere in the middle of the mountains. So we've got to figure out what we're going to do with that. Chopper, we're going to go ahead and bring these guys to this village. Again, hoping that the constant village visits in some of these places will show we care about them. Although so far, nothing really much is occurring with that. And... Get back to our headquarters. All right, so this village or this, let's go. Here. I don't, I don't know if I have enough fuel to get back if I drop. I think I do. So new intel received. Nice. So we detected an IED. Go ahead and fly this guy back to this base. Do 
we have infantry in here? I think we do. Do we'll move these guys out. Then we're gonna go ahead and have them disable the It keeps jumping back to this one unit over by the headquarters that I don't want I don't want to do. Oh, we don't have any more movement points. We can't disable the All right, so we visited four villages recently. We should get some plus for, actually, can we airstrike this opium field? We actually have to send troops here. No, it doesn't. All right, well, we'll deal with the IED next turn. Drilled about my buffalo. Just asking to get hit by an IED and destroyed. And I think that about does it for this turn as well. Let's take a look at the intel map. These guys need rations. We're Oscar Mike. All right. And turn. Oh, I can set an ambush up. I want to. Um, but we're going to go ahead and move these guys back. And I'm going to throw my special forces on the helicopter once I get back. Moving out. No ration. Ammo. I'll actually let him sit there to get more, get more fuel. Um, and then these guys are going to go ahead and disable this IED Save up here. IEDs. And there you go. Oh. Good old Americans doing good things for the communities. All right, let's take a look. Copy that. I cannot do an, op an airstrike on the open field, unfortunately. Only has one fuel remaining, so I must have exhausted all that fuel in these other vehicles. Oh, I really don't like the idea of sending these supply trucks back down these roads. Because again, I need to get back to the headquarters so I can draw more fuel, so I can continue my operations. I can't airlift fuel. I wonder if I buy a Chinook, if I can airlift fuel, because that's a heavy lift chopper. But the problem is I don't have enough political points to airlift a Chinook, or to buy a Chinook. Um, choppers full of, not full of fuel. That's because he already moved this turn. Okay. All right, so the next move will be to get up here to this opium field. If I've got an Apache that's full of fuel, oh, I do have an Apache. Let's see if our Apache can get up there. Moving out. And end the turn. Hell no from Pakistan. Extra Taliban units have entered the theater. Great. So Pakistan is not being cooperative with us. Yep, doesn't let me destroy it with a chop with a Apache. Lame. All right. So this chopper is resupplied. I can throw our special forces on here. See him turn black. And our special forces are going to pay a visit to this northern town up here. See if we can detect any enemy bad guys. I really like the way the helicopters move around the map in this game. Um, let's see. So we need to get our HOA score back up. Oh my god, HOA. What am I talking about? Alright. So repair their buffalo, please. And I need to find some bad guys to kill or need to start visiting villages more frequently, but I, I haven't set my logistics up. I should have set a full convoy up with like fuel and all these other things up. Um, this guy's full, so we'll go ahead and load up some troops. Roger. 
and him. We'll head to this village up here. And they hit an IED. What are they taking fire from? Searching for IEDs. Copy that. All right, we'll set up an ambush now that I'm taking casualties up here. I don't even know where they're taking fire from. Moving out. Did he just blow up? He blew up too. Oh god, this game is going going downhill fast. Negative 300 points. So it looks like people are protesting. National elections are about to happen. This guy's all I think we need to support the only guy who's remotely pro-American. We don't have any political points to invest in him though. Ugh. Great. So, I don't care about that IED over there. Um, another town up here. I guess we'll send the special forces toward the opium field. I'm assuming they can destroy it. Copy that. Maybe that'll give me some positive political points. I just haven't been able to spot anything. Um... Actually, I didn't realize we had a Chinook over here. When did I get all these reinforcements? Good lord. I don't remember buying a Chinook. Did I ever buy a Chinook, guys? Or did that just show up? So the Chinook can carry fuel, which is good. Apparently I've got a whole bunch of reinforcements. Let's go start visiting villages or something. don't remember buying any of these reinforcements, but not complaining. And they're pro bad guys as well. So these villages are all turning on us. Um, did this guy use up his movement points? Yeah. That's not great, but the good thing is now we can operate with a greater operational tempo. I suppose, do we get points back if we rotate these guys back? We don't need all these infantry units. We have another Apache as well that I never bought. So go ahead and rotate some of these guys back. You get some positive political points. Basically, hey, you're sending the troops home. You're getting some, you know, yay, do it, or something. Anyway, so get some political points back for that. Wait. If we rotate an Afghan National Army unit to the U.S., we receive a whole bunch more political... That makes no sense. Oh, it just treats them like anyone else. Okay. Um. Great. This way. Copy solid. I'm still surprised that I have seen so little in the way of the enemy... My only other experience was seeing a ton. But it is what it is, I suppose. Affirmative. Alright, well, in turn. Militia spotted. New Afghan emerging. Reports from Afghanistan, political points, hearts and minds, points increased. Okay. Nice. So apparently the politic political situation in Afghanistan is positive, so now we've got a whole bunch of hearts and minds points. And we also have a bump in our hearts and minds score, so we're back to 50%. Which is good, I just don't know how that happened, but I'm not going to complain. Meanwhile, we've got this enemy unit here. We're going to go ahead and try and destroy from a distance with our Apache. Get some actual action. And... I don't think I destroyed it. I don't know what's going on.
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to go ahead and cut it off right here. I do apologize. I was listening to the audio, and it sounded like there was a little bit of an artifact in there where sometimes it would distort the audio from my stream. So I apologize for that if it made things seem a little bit, uh, I don't know, it, it just it sounded weird. So apologies for that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this stream or this video here. This final turn actually wasn't uh, what you'll end up seeing in the next video because the game automatically saves at this point at the end of turns. So I'll be restarting and replaying this turn uh, as we as we get to our next video. So with all that being said, obviously things are not going perfectly, although we still have a hearts and minds score of 50. We've been taking quite a few casualties and struggling to just maintain our fob and ability to operate from our fob a little bit further out. Um, so, you know, that being said, um, we'll see how we how we manage. We got a lucky little break there with some diplomatic points kind of flying our way. And uh, so far, we're hanging in there, but we've got a lot of work to do. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts below. And until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you for watching, and I'm out.